All right, in the co-main event, Isaiah is going up against John the Machine Davis. We're less than two weeks away. How real does it feel? Oh, it feels great. It's right there. It's within my grasp. You've known about this for a little bit now. We got the pre-fight uh, announcement earlier than we normally have. Has things felt different this fight prep leading in than it has in the past? Fight prep wise, no. I trained the same. I mean, it's felt all the same. Um, I mean, just us being on the poster. I mean, that's a little different for me, new for me at least. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the publicity that we're getting, I was I was a little shocked. I thought we were going to be getting more since it is a title fight. But I mean, you know, I'm 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 always prepared for my fights. So I just got to do what I can do, and that's all I can control, you know? Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you, are you a little bit disappointed? We see them pumping Dumpling to Crazy Hawaiian and Paige Van Zant. We don't often hear the co-main event, John Davis versus Isaiah Quiones. You know what? I'm, I mean, I'm kind of sad about that. Um, but, I mean, there's a reason why they do things. I'm not going to argue. But, I mean, I'm, I'm going to change that with this fight. If, if they think it's just because, you know, we might not put on a good show or something like that, they're going to learn when it comes down to fight day the reason why the middleweight division is the new division to watch. Mm -hmm. Come on. I, I don't want you to be politically correct. I want to know how you actually feel about it, Isaiah. No, that's, that's <laughs> how I feel, man. That's how I feel. It's like we, we're, there, we're there to put on a show, mm -hmm. and I feel like – you know, Hawaiian got his, you know, date or like, you know, his announcement and everything was done on the last fight, Power Slap 8. Dumpling, you know, is just getting into this. Again, I've, I've known these guys for a while, but I feel like our fight is way more important mm -hmm. due to the fact that John has been champion for so long. Yeah. And I'm going to be the first one to take it, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, you're a guy with a ton of experience, obviously, pre Power Slap. Um, you know, you've gone up against Wesley Drain, somebody who John Davis also has. And we've seen how you performed and how he performed. Is there anything you can draw from your match with Wes that you think will be able to translate as to how this outcome is going to come on October 24th? Absolutely. The way that I strike and, you know, the pinpoint accuracy I have on my strikes. I mean, people have people seen it firsthand. Like, yeah, yeah when I was going against Ryan Wallace and my last match, I mean, my very first, you know, slapped back into this. Um, I mean, of course it was a little off. I never go on one, I go on three. Um, like I said, the boxes, like I said before in our past interviews, the boxes changed a little bit, but once I dialed in, you know, my distance and everything, mm -hmm. I got that pinpoint accuracy and I know where to hit John and I'm going to hit him on the button. Mm -hmm. And, you know, hopefully it's the first one, but whether or not be two, three, four, whatever it is, I'm going to hit him on the button every single time. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously we see John defeat Wesley. Do you think there's a substantial difference between those two competitors now? You know what? Um, I'm surprised that Wesley didn't knock down John. I'm surprised that because Wesley's pretty strong. Um but, I mean, as you guys saw in the last fight, Wesley has a, a strong chin, but his chin's not stronger than mine. So no matter what John gives to me, I'm mm -hmm. going to take it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it's hard for you to really, you know, evolve or change when you're on a win streak. But do you still feel like there's a different level or gear to your game, really, that we haven't fully seen yet? You know what? It's like I, I just – I know and I feel in my heart that – I'm going to hold this title. I'm going to get this title. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to defend it. And I'm going to have to retire with the title. I don't think there's anybody that's going to take it from me. Yeah. Talk I, to I, just, I feel too strong, man. I feel too strong. I, I was born for this. And, like, people like to talk about, like, oh, you know, people have got their little chit-chat and their chatter, you know. But at the end of the day, I'm, I was made for this. And I do this because I like to do it, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, of course, the money's great, but I love fucking hitting people, and I love getting hit, and I know I can take it. And I love seeing the fear in their eyes when they hit me as hard as they can, and nothing happens to me. Mm -hmm. So in regards to, I guess, the keys to victory for you, 
what has to happen? Um, so, I mean, honestly, it's, I mean, I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to perform like I always do. That's what has to happen. I have to go in, I have to hit John on the button and I have the power already. Everybody knows I have the power. So it's mm -hmm. just making sure I hit him with the accuracy and that's all I have to do. All right. Well, this might be news for you, but you won the coin toss, my man. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> this has to be the first one that I fucking knock him out. I've had too many times where I give everybody a shot and a chance. Yeah. So you are going to strike first. Obviously, you're excited about that. What's your prediction? One and done? Honestly, I, I need to do it. One and done. I mean, I don't, I don't mind getting hit, but who wants to get hit? You know what I mean? I know I know, I can take it. John, John is strong. He has a good whack on him. But I have a ridiculously hard head. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about me. I just... I was built for this. I was built with no neck and built with <laughs> big traps. Absolutely. I mean, John's been away for a little bit. You know, are you worried about any ring rust? Because, you know, ring rust could lead to fouls, potential injuries, stuff like that. Are you worried or, or no? I see you shaking your head. No, you know what? I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I'm, because, you know what? John is a class act dude. Mm -hmm. And John does really, you know, he when he – even when he practices on the bob, I mean, I've seen him firsthand, right? And even when he was coaching me, right, during Ryan's, you know, uh, fight, mine and Ryan's fight, um, that's, that's all he would talk about is the accuracy and, like, where you want to place your hand and stuff like that. I don't think John will have ring rust. I think this whole year has given him an opportunity to get stronger. I've mm -hmm. seen him lifting. I've seen him in person. He. You know, he got a little more size on him, but not like nothing, nothing I'm scared of, of course. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I'll give it to John. He took his time and his opportunity to train. And that's what's going to make this match amazing. People are going to feel so bored watching this super heavyweight match, <laughs> bored watching, you know, these other matches. And they're going to see our match and it's going to be crazy. No, absolutely. I mean, you guys are two of probably the nicer guys in the entire sport. Um, you know, obviously there's a level of mutual respect. Um, you know, you, you kind of, you kind of feel win, lose or draw that, you know, you guys are going to put the middleweight division on your back, represent it the way it should and give it the respect that it should. Because I mean, we obviously on slap news, we've been talking about this for the better part of half a year, right back to the great middleweight debate, um, that, you know, this division hasn't always been, you know, one that is getting its respect. It's due and now it's in a position with where where it could arguably be one of the deepest divisions, truly in all the power. Yeah, yeah. honestly, our, our division is going to take over. It's like we have we have too much talent in our division. You know, there's some you know shit talkers in our division that I I mean, you know, that are rubbing me the wrong way. But you know what? At the end of the day, we all have talent. Mm -hmm. um, we all when you when you look at past fights and when you look at like fights going from you know welterweight, lightweight, heavyweight, all those other divisions, we have the best finishes and matches, to mm -hmm. be honest, I feel, personally. So, I mean, I, I I see us just taking over this whole sport, and the middleweight division is going to be the one to watch, and that's going to be the new hype. Awesome, my man. One last one before I let you go. John Davis is watching this, as you know he will, because he always watches Slap News. What do you want to say to him? John, you already know. I love you, brother, but I got to take that belt. And I'm going to take that belt. And I promise you won't regret giving it to me. Awesome, my man. Appreciate you joining me. Much love. Travel safe. And we'll see you there in Abu Dhabi. Thank you. I appreciate you.